Hi, this is Mrs. La Barbara. This is AP Physics Chapter Two, Video Four. Today's topic is average and instantaneous acceleration. The objectives for today are be able to calculate average acceleration, be able to calculate instantaneous acceleration using derivatives, and be able to determine the direction of acceleration. This is a picture showing a car moving from P1 to P2. As you can see, its velocity is changing. At P1 velocity is v1x, at P2 velocity is v2x. So acceleration describes how velocity change with time. It is a vector quantity. In one-dimensional motion, its direction depends on if the object is speeding up or slowing down. Average acceleration of the particle as it moves from P1 to P2 is defined as change is V2 minus V1 divided by the time interval T2 minus T1. So A equals V2 minus V1 divided by T2 minus T1. This difference, we call it delta V. Delta means change divided by delta T. The unit for acceleration is meters per second per second, or meters per second squared. Acceleration versus velocity. Velocity describes how position changes. Now acceleration describes how velocity changes. Two are two different concepts. Don't get them confused. Acceleration is to velocity as velocity to displacement. Let's look at an example. An astronaut has left an orbiting a spacecraft to test a personal maneuvering unit. As she moves along the straight line, her partner on the spacecraft measures her velocity every two seconds, starting at time t equals to one second. So here's the time, here's the corresponding velocity. Find average acceleration, describe whether the speed of the astronaut increase decrease or uh, for each time interval. For the first interval, t equals to one second to t equals to three seconds. Acceleration is change of velocity over time. So it equals to 1.2 minus 0.8 divided by the time interval, three minus one. So you have a positive number. When once acceleration is positive and the velocity is also positive, that means your speed is increasing. Similarly, for 5 to 7, take a look at 5 to 7. Your speed has decreased, right? It was 1.6, becomes 1.2. So what is the acceleration? In this case, it is point, uh, negative 0.2. Speed is decreasing. How did I get negative 0.2? I used 1.2 minus 1.6 divided by 7 minus 5. And for the same um, procedure I can get for C, and a D. Instantaneous acceleration. The instantaneous acceleration, or simply acceleration, is the limit of average acceleration as the time interval approaches to zero. So acceleration is defined as this, dV over dt. So we know V is the derivative of a position over time. A is derivative of velocity over time, or double derivative of position function over time. Let's take a look at this example. Suppose x velocity of a car at any time t is given by this equation vx equals 60 plus 0.5 t squared. Find the change in x velocity of the car in the time interval. So the change in velocity is v2 minus v1. In this case is v at 3 minus v at 1. So V at 3, you simply substitute t equals to 3. V at 1, substitute t equals to 1. You have 4 meters per second. Find average acceleration between t1 to t, uh, t2 t equals to 3 seconds. Average acceleration is change of velocity over time. Mathematically, this is how you do it. At equals to 2 meters per second squared. 3. Derive an expression for the instantaneous acceleration at any time. And use it to find x acceleration at t equals to 1 second and t equals to 3 seconds. The instantaneous acceleration is the derivative of v over x, dv, I mean dv over dt. 
So this, the first is zero. The second becomes 0.5 times 2t. 0.5 times 2 is 1. So it's just t, right? Just 1 times t. So a at 1 is just 1. a at 3 is just 3 with the corresponding units, meters per second squared. Take a look at, at another example. The position of an object is given to you. x t equals to 3t cubed minus 5t squared plus 6t minus 7. Find instantaneous acceleration. So instantaneous acceleration at t equals to 2 seconds. Instantaneous acceleration is dv over dt. But so in order to find instantaneous acceleration, we have to find velocity first. Velocity equals dx over dt. So that equals to 3 times 3 times t squared, 9t squared minus 5 times 2t, which is 10t, plus this is just a 6, and this is a constant, becomes a 0. Now to find acceleration at t equals to 2 seconds, you simply substitute t equals to 2. So v, uh, a, I mean, sorry, so to find a, equals to, you have to do derivative of dv over dt, which gives you 18t minus 10, 6 becomes 0, a2 equals 18 times 2 minus 10, give you 26 meters per second squared. Next one, you have to find average acceleration. Average acceleration equals to change velocity over time. So the first 2 second change velocity during the first Two second is v2 minus v0 divided by the time interval. How do I find v2? I substitute t equals to 2 in this v equation. And v0 substitute 0 in this v equation. And you will have 8 meters per second squared. Now, I'll question the direction of acceleration and velocity. So, a lot of times people think if velocity decreases, acceleration is negative. That is not true. The direction of acceleration depends on if you're speeding up or slowing down. If you speed up, as the picture on the left, you can speed up in the positive direction or speed up in the negative direction. If you speed up in the positive direction, your velocity is positive, acceleration is positive. If you speed uh, up in the negative direction, your velocity is negative, your acceleration is also negative because slope is negative. As you can see, when you speed up, acceleration and velocity have the same direction. Now, when you're slowing down on the top, your velocity is positive, but your acceleration is negative. When, you, when you're slowing down in the negative direction, however, your velocity is negative, but your acceleration is positive. So when you are slowing down, acceleration is in the opposite direction as your velocity. Let's take a look at our last example. A particle moving in one dimension has a position a function defined as x t equals to 6 t to the fourth minus 2 t. At what point in time does a particle change its direction along the x-axis? Change direction means its velocity has become zero. So to find the velocity, we have to do dx over dt. That gives you 24t cubed minus 2. We set this equals to zero and solve for t. This is the time when the particle changes direction. Next question. In what direction is the particle traveling when its acceleration is 12? So first, we'll have to find acceleration. We know the velocity function, acceleration is dv over dt. So we do the derivative of this and set that equals to 12. Because solve for time. And time equals to 0 0.408 seconds. So at that time, what a direction is particle traveling? In order to find direction, we have, sub, sub, we have to substitute this time into velocity expression. So velocity becomes 24 times 0.48 cubed minus 2. Velocity is negative 0 0.37 meters per second. This negative sign indicate the particle is traveling in the negative direction. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.